question today. We could be dealing with a major hurricane. Now it's looking like a major wind and storm surge threat and then a ton of flooding. It will only get worse as we head throughout the rest of today. This is really a triple threat storm as it heads in. We have nowhere to put that water and now we're talking about some serious flash flooding. In the aftermath of Hurricane Harvey in South Texas, the Farmhouse Fresh team wanted to help the animals surrounded by floodwaters, many abandoned and left for dead. Good baby, are you hungry? We're blown away. We're seeing these pictures and it looks like the water just keeps rising and all these animals are trapped. We partnered with the underdog Project Dallas who sent volunteers to South Texas to rescue animals from flooded areas. The area I went to, the, the water was up to chest deep. We had two dogs whose owners knowingly told the neighbor that they're never coming back. We're willing to fund a transport. We have rescues up north in Minnesota who have said that they will help us and that they will find homes for these animals. So Farmhouse Fresh is, is willing to do whatever we can to help get the animals out. The Harvey rescue was on. 50 dogs were brought to two temporary locations in Dallas-Fort Worth. Oh, look at your head. Oh. Here, we're just trying to take care of the basic needs um, of all these dogs. Just get them fed, watered, cleaned up, washed off to get all of the, the fleas and ticks off of them. It's a ton of work, but to know that their lives will be forever changed, it's all going to be worth it. Hi, baby. Oh, you are the sweetest little thing. For five days, our Farmhouse Fresh team came out to help. Hi, baby. His tooth is sticking out literally on the side, so he can't eat. So what I did is I um, pureed him some chicken and rice. We've taken funds that are coming in from everyday purchases, and we've gone ahead and allotted that toward this massive transport um, and the vet care and everything that we could do for these dogs. These dogs are amazing. Um, some of them are very scared, but once they warm up to us, they're so loving and affectionate, so they definitely deserve to have a good home. With the dogs' vaccinations and paperwork completed, it was time to load up and head out. Ready to go get your forever home? This girl looks a little rough, but she's very sweet. Okay, here we go. You can do it. Good job. Here she goes. It's a huge undertaking to even transport a handful of dogs, much less 25, 40, 50 dogs. It's a ton of work and just takes a ton of coordination from a lot of different parties. The journey was long, over a thousand miles and 17 hours. When the sun rose on St. Cloud, Minnesota the next morning, Shauna Dahl of Sathis was the first to greet the caravan. <laughs> she had spent countless hours coordinating volunteers, foster homes and rescues across Minnesota for the Harvey dogs to begin their new lives. It honestly has restored my faith in humanity. For us to be able to help out and have so many shelters in Minnesota willing to help out all of the Harvey Relief Rescuers, it's like incredible. So it's they're in a good place. They found their home. You are darling. Hi, babe. This whole journey has been overwhelming in many ways and today I just I can't stop crying because I'm seeing it all come together. During a quick stop at a Petco in St. Cloud we were overwhelmed with the kindness and donations from people we had never met before. These are all the slip leads to help you guys with the walking whatever needs to be done right now. Oh my god thank you. Yeah. Um, thank you so much. That wasn't all. They also donated pallets of dog food which filled up two SUVs. This is gonna be a great, it's gonna be a great day. The caravan headed to Oak Park Campground in Garfield, Minnesota, where dozens of volunteers, foster families, and adopters were anxiously awaiting the Harvey dogs for an afternoon of love and attention after their cross-country journey. My heart is full. My heart is full. Anytime that we can save an animal, my heart is full. Who wants to walk this baby? <laughs> They're going to end up being loved a lot. If not just today, every day. You got this little guy who's just rolling over and wants some belly rubs, and they all just want to be loved. 
They gave us this little guy. Oh my gosh, he's cute. Just fit right in. He might just be staying on with us forever. <laughs> <laughs> able to almost sit in my lap and be able to love them up a little bit. They all know. They know when they're saved. They know that they're in a good place now. It's part of human compassion for animals. If you don't have that, then there's something missing out of your soul, I think. So connecting is a good thing, and I think that the animals definitely need the love. We've been blessed with like seven adoptive families here, you know, so seven that have never seen these dogs, never played with them, touched them, nothing, and they just came here to pick up dogs. So that's incredible loaded up the rest of the dogs into our cars, trucks, and a graciously donated cargo SUV headed for other rescues. Up next, Headwaters Animal Shelter in Park Rapids, Minnesota. Two sets for sure will stay together. There's an Oak Hill shelter here, so everybody will stay as long as they need to to find homes. So we really look forward to having that time with them to get to know them and really find the perfect home for them. Juju is excited to be going from Park Rapids all the way to Hackensack. Then we arrive at the new Paws and Claws Rescue Resort where 10 more Harvey dogs will find a loving family. It's pretty emotional. You know, um, we're only two months old as a shelter and to see these dogs rescued from a pretty dire situation and they're going to be able to have a very good life and they're going to find their forever homes up here in Minnesota. I just love you, don't I? The outpouring of love and support has been unbelievable. And the fact that, you know, Minnesotans would say, yep, just get the dogs here and we will make sure they get amazing, loving homes. That has just blown us away. With the sun setting and just four more Harvey dogs left, we arrived at the sprawling grounds of the Babinski Foundation. So excited to have them. It's wide open out here. So they have, a lot of the people that adopt have quite a bit of acreage and I mean, it's. It's a wonderful, wonderful place around here. And with that final drop off, 50 dogs who would not have survived the Harvey floodwaters found new lives with years ahead of them. To see it, you know, that you're saving their lives and they're all, there wasn't one bad dog in the bunch. No. They're all amazing dogs and you can't ask for more than that. That was good. Minnesota. Natasha Taylor, Alexandria, Minnesota. Kristen Anderson, Osakis, Minnesota. Katie Langsfeld, Glenwood, Minnesota. Jerome Langsfeld, Glenwood, Minnesota. Judy Topol, Garfield, Minnesota. Cindy Kakak, Alexandria, Minnesota. I'm Casey Lang, I'm from Alexandria, Minnesota. Katie Olmscheid, Alexandria, Minnesota. I'm Bobby Madge and I'm from Glenwood, Minnesota. I'm Karen Field, and we're from Alexandria, Minnesota. I'm Becca Gill from Alexandria, Minnesota. Bernie Obergewich, Alexandria, Minnesota. Connie McKay, Alexandria, Minnesota. Three. 